Yesterday, U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner appeared on five Sunday morning talk shows, pushing Republicans to agree to tax increases on the wealthiest Americans. On NBC's Meet the Press, Geithner said Republicans will accept the tax hikes by the end of the year. You think we'll get a deal by the end of the year? I do, I do, because the only thing standing in the way of that would be a, a, a refusal by Republicans to accept that rates are going to have to go up on the wealthiest Americans. And I, I don't really see them doing that. I think a lot of this is political theater. Usually when you have these these terrible deadlines that things need to be met by, uh, there, there's just a whole lot of posturing that goes back and forth in the, the weeks ahead. And in the last week or so before the actual deadline, you see some actual horse trading. Uh, but at the same time, I think the Obama administration's opening position here has been very strong from a progressive viewpoint. Uh, I mean, it seems like he, he is making the case to the public that uh, that you know, elections have consequences. And this this was a major platform of his campaign. You know, we're going to we're going to raise taxes on the richest Americans. And Geithner is kind of digging in his heels now. They don't have a whole lot of leverage, the Republicans. If, if you just go over the fiscal cliff, right, all of the Bush tax cuts expire, literally all of them for everybody. And so then Democrats can come on January 2nd and say, here's a tax cut bill for 98% of Americans. And the Republicans are really going to vote against a tax cut for 98% of Americans. And